What attributes do you feel are most important in choosing a technical co-founder? So our technical co-founder was a guy named Shay Sullivan, and I knew him from Rice, where we both went to college together, and he was an electrical engineer there. Very sharp guy, and he ended up being actually a very good compliment. He's very organized, he's very structured, uh, and he can build stuff, he can do the entire software stack from the very detailed to the very top level. So I think when looking for a technical co-founder, um, I accidentally did a lot of it right, and I messed up on a few things, but I, I did most of it right. Um, in that, number one, they have to be a complement to the way you think, not just your skill sets. So not only do they have to be good at things you're not good at tactically, but they have to think in a different style. And for Shay, I was very unstructured and creative. He was very structured and, you know, method-driven, which is great. The, the second thing I would look for in a technical co-founder is trust. I mean, we knew each other since college, so it wasn't like there was a lot of, are you trying to behind my back stab me? It was very clear that he and I were in this together and we weren't going to ditch each other. And then the last thing I would look for is commitment. So it, 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 Shay and I both expected this to be a six months until we were up and rocking, and it's been two years. And uh, we, we sort of were great by both understanding that we were still onto something great and we were fully committed to it no matter what the twists and turns were. And so that ended up working out really well. What were some of the things you did wrong going through that process? Neither Shay nor I had started a company before and we hadn't raised venture capital money and we hadn't been in the startup community. And I think if I had to do it again, we would find, I would still stick with Shay, but we would find one other person who had done that and had done well in the venture community so that they had, you know, sort of a burden of proof.